A 50 centimeter wire is to be cut in two. The first piece will be used to form a circle and the second piece a square. Where should the wire be cut so that the area of the resulting figure is maximized, is minimized? The first thing you want to do is draw a picture, label your variables, and understand what they represent. So our wire here is 50 centimeters long. We're going to cut it x units from the left, giving the second piece 50 minus x. The piece that's x long will be formed into a circle. Its circumference will be x. The piece that's 50 minus x long will be formed into a square. The perimeter will be 50 minus x. Our goal is to maximize and to minimize the resulting area of the figures. You know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of a square is side squared, so the total area will be the sum of those two quantities. In this case, r is the radius of our circle, and s is the side of our square. Since the square is composed of four equal sides, the total perimeter being 50 minus x, the side of the square is in fact 50 minus x divided by 4. To determine what r is in terms of x, remember to determine the circumference of a circle. That's 2 pi r. That's got to equal x. So r itself is going to be x divided by 2 pi. You can now express the area. In so our area in terms of the variable x becomes pi times x squared over 2 pi, the quantity squared, plus 50 minus x all divided by 4, the quantity squared. Before we go and look for our critical points, it's important to know what interval makes sense to try and maximize or minimize this function on. In this particular case, x is the amount of wire given to the circle. That could range from x equaling 0, in which case all of the wire will be made into a square, all the way to x equaling 50, where all of the wire will be made into the circle and none into the square. So our natural uh, closed interval on which we are trying to maximize and minimize this function is on 0 to 50. Now we can go ahead and take the derivative of a with respect to x uh, to find the candidates for our extreme points. Taking the derivative, you will find it's equal to 0 precisely when x is 50 pi divided by 4 plus pi. There's one extreme point. You can do a quick check to see that this does indeed lie between uh, 0 and 50. So to look for our max and min area, we want to test the critical point we found here and the two endpoints, 0 and 50. When x is 0, the entire area is made into a square, so 50 divided by 4 squared would be the area, and we'd get 156 and a quarter centimeters squared. When x is 50 pi divided by 4 plus pi, we get an answer. Um, and as I tried to do it exactly, I found myself faltering. So I took the next step and actually brought out my calculator. Uh, I found that the area in this case was 87.5 centimeters squared. And then finally, when, the area, when x equaled 50, that means the entire wire is being made into a circle we get 198.9 as the maximum area. So you can see that the maximum, the largest output, occurred here at 198, uh, giving us an area of 198.9. And the minimum occurred with the cut in the middle uh, at about 22 centimeters. That's uh, giving 87.5 centimeters squared.
The final step now is to make sure to have a complete sentence that answers the question as your conclusion. My conclusion, to maximize the area of the resulting figures, do not cut the wire at all and bend the entire piece into a circle. To minimize the area, cut the 50 centimeter wire approximately 22 centimeters from the left, bend the left piece into a circle and the right piece into a square.